Hydrogen is a versatile energy carrier that can be produced from a variety of resources. It's classified into different types based on the method of production and the source of energy used. There are many types of hydrogen. See a few examples then we will talk about power generation through them. Gray hydrogen. The most common form, produced from natural gas or methane through a process called steam reforming. This process is carbon intensive. Blue hydrogen. Produced similarly to gray hydrogen, but the carbon dioxide produced during the process is captured and stored, reducing its environmental impact. Green hydrogen. Produced in a climate-neutral manner, typically through the electrolysis of water using renewable energy sources like wind or solar power. Other types include black, brown, red, pink, yellow, turquoise, and white hydrogen, each produced using different methods and sources. Electricity generation. Hydrogen can be used to generate electricity through a device called a fuel cell. In a fuel cell, hydrogen and oxygen are combined in an electrochemical reaction to produce electricity, water, and heat. This process is clean as the only byproduct is water vapor. Future of hydrogen energy. The future of hydrogen energy is promising. It's currently enjoying unprecedented political and business momentum, with the number of policies and projects around the world expanding rapidly. Hydrogen has the potential to make a significant contribution to clean energy transitions, especially in sectors where it is almost completely absent, such as transport, buildings, and power generation. However, for hydrogen to become widely used, technolo technologies need to be scaled up and costs need to be brought down. The demand for clean hydrogen is projected to increase significantly by 2050. The challenge now is to bring the price of extraction down so that it's comparable to fossil fuels. Hydrogen can be produced from a variety of resources such as natural gas, nuclear power, biogas, and renewable power like solar and wind. The most common method is through a process called electrolysis, where an electric current is passed through water to separate the hydrogen and oxygen atoms. The most effective way to convert hydrogen into electricity is using a fuel cell. A fuel cell is a device that converts chemical energy into electrical energy. It enables hydrogen and oxygen to blend in an electrochemical reaction. The result is the production of electricity, water, and heat. In more detail, here's how a fuel cell works. 1. Hydrogen is introduced to the anode of the fuel cell. 2. At the anode, a catalyst causes the hydrogen to split into positive hydrogen ions protons and negatively charged electrons. 3. The proton conducting membrane allows only the protons to pass through to the cathode. The electrons are forced to travel through an external circuit creating an electric current. 4. At the cathode, oxygen from the air combines with the electrons and protons to produce water, which is the only byproduct. When it comes to storage and transportation, hydrogen is interesting because it has the potential to be stored for long periods. Currently, Battery storage is only a short-term option. There's also the benefit of being able to transport it along existing infrastructure, though this is also not without its challenges. Hydrogen as a fuel in action. For transport, there are already cars that run on hydrogen fuel cells. Japan has almost 100 public hydrogen refueling stations, allowing you to fill up your car just as you would with petrol or diesel. Other countries including Germany and the US also have hydrogen stations. It takes energy to produce molecular hydrogen. The source of energy and the production method used to make molecular hydrogen determines whether it's classified as gray hydrogen, blue hydrogen, or green hydrogen. Hydrogen can be made from natural gas, coal, or biomass, but these energy sources have associated greenhouse gas emissions. Hydrogen can also be made using an electrolysis process to split water into oxygen and hydrogen. Gray hydrogen is hydrogen produced using fossil fuels such as natural gas or coal. Gray hydrogen accounts for roughly 95% of the hydrogen produced in the world today. The two main production methods are steam methane reforming and coal gasification. Both of these processes release carbon dioxide CO2. If the carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, then the hydrogen produced is referred to as gray hydrogen. Gray hydrogen is not considered a low-carbon fuel. 
Blue hydrogen is similar to gray hydrogen, except that most of the CO2 emissions are sequestered stored in the ground using carbon capture and storage CCS. Capturing and storing the carbon dioxide instead of releasing it into the atmosphere allows blue hydrogen to be a low-carbon fuel. The two main production methods are steam methane reforming and coal gasification, both with carbon capture and storage. Blue hydrogen is a cleaner alternative to gray hydrogen, but is expensive since carbon capture technology is used. Green hydrogen is hydrogen produced using electricity from clean energy sources. Green hydrogen is considered low or zero emission hydrogen because it uses energy sources such as wind and solar which don't release greenhouse gases when generating electricity. Green hydrogen is made when water H2O is split into hydrogen H2 and oxygen O2. Water splitting is also known as electrolysis and requires an energy input. The method of supplying electricity to split water is an expensive process, but much more environmentally friendly compared to the production of gray hydrogen. Other colors. In the energy industry, other colors may be used to differentiate between the types of hydrogen. Although gray, blue and green are most common colors, black, brown, red, pink, yellow, turquoise and white exist as colors for molecular hydrogen. Colors such as black and brown are more specific types of gray hydrogen. Black hydrogen is when black coal is used usually in a gasification process to make hydrogen. Brown hydrogen is when lignite brown coal is used to make hydrogen also a gasification process. Red hydrogen is made from biomass. Biomass can be transformed to produce hydrogen via gasification. Depending on the type of biomass and the use of carbon capture and storage technologies, red hydrogen can have lower CO2 emissions than gray hydrogen. If the CO2 is completely captured and there are no other emissions, it can be considered green hydrogen. Pink hydrogen refers to hydrogen generated through electrolysis powered by nuclear energy. Pink hydrogen is usually considered green because it does not produce in CO2 emissions during opera operation. The color yellow sometimes indicates hydrogen produced via electrolysis through solar energy. However, it is also used to indicate that the electricity used for the electrolysis comes from mixed sources. This mix of sources comes from the electrical grid and is based on availability and can range from renewables to fossil fuels. An upcoming color of hydrogen is turquoise hydrogen, although it has yet to be proven at a large scale. Turquoise hydrogen is made using a process called methane pyrolysis to produce molecular hydrogen and solid carbon. In the future, turquoise hydrogen may be valued as a low-emission hydrogen, dependent on the thermal process being powered with renewable energy and the carbon being permanently stored or used. In addition, there is what's called white hydrogen. In nature, we find hydrogen in gaseous form H2 and it is colorless. That is why, when you hear about white hydrogen, it refers to naturally occurring geological hydrogen that might be rarely found in underground deposits. There aren't any viable strategies to use these deposits now, which is why we apply different processes to generate it artificially gasification, electrolysis, methane pyrolysis, etc. The Hydrogen Power Plant A pivotal technology is the hydrogen power plant. At its core, it features a gas turbine that can either co-fire hydrogen with natural gas or in the future burn 100% clean, green hydrogen. A combined cycle gas power plant coupled with a energy Silizer 300 electrolyzer, hydrogen storage and omnivice control system is an integral step on the path for the full-scale commercialization of the hydrogen use in power generation. The current vision is a gas turbine-based hydrogen power plant that would utilize renewable energy or spare capacity to generate the hydrogen. Sitting alongside the turbine will be a facility to produce green hydrogen, consisting of PM electrolyzers and hydrogen storage. This hydrogen will be produced with clean, renewable energy that is either generated on-site or from excess renewable energy from the power grid. The benefits do not end there. The waste heat from the electrolysis process can be fed into a heat pump to generate district heat for cities and local communities, while gas turbine waste heat is either reused in the production of power through combined cycle technology or can also be fed into a district heating network or collocated industrial facilities that utilize this heat in their production processes. Market ready now with future-proof solutions. With an end-to-end -end portfolio that encompasses gas and steam turbines, heat recovery products, 
renewable energy generation, electrolyzers, heat pumps, operating systems, and intelligent control systems, all these benefits can be integrated into one solution. The path to combining electricity generation, hydrogen production, and heat reuse can be tackled in a step-by-step -step approach. Starting small and thinking big is the key to success. It is not necessary to start with 100% hydrogen firing. An initial foray into the technology with a small on-site electrolyzer and a gas turbine that burns as little as 5% hydrogen will still save emissions while putting you on the path forward to 100%. This flexibility makes the hydrogen power plant an ideal solution for the vital short-term environmental gains that are required while future-proofing the investment to allow the hydrogen volume to scale up as market conditions change as the world transitions to a net-zero future.